Magazine Street beat the movie. Yet another day I'll have spent watching one man on YouTube, watching him and wishing I could do what he's doing. Maybe I could even do it with him someday, if, if dreams do come true. Sitting outside the playhouse, thinking about going on, I think this is place one man was on about. I wonder what it'll be worth checking out if there's any music courses. Well, that interview with Quail went really well. Maybe this music thing could actually happen. Take drama course, here I come. Or so I thought. Hello. Hello. Uh, what's your name again, sir? Don Marie Dolly. Oh, Don Marie. Okay, right. Um, basically, uh, we think that you're just um, overqualified for this course, and I'm sorry that we probably can't offer you a place because literally you just have far too many qualifications. Um, I'm so sorry, but that's it. No, that's no problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um... Well, that was a disaster. I know we chair sweet, like, but they couldn't stop looking at it. They said it didn't get on because I was overqualified. I right. Well, I don't think it was a disaster. Maybe I should just give up on this music scene. Maybe Quav's wrong. Oh, come on, DM, get a grip. You've never let boys run. Why should they be any different just because they're teachers? Fast forward a few months, here we are in the first studio day with BDM. We're gonna get 
We interviews with each member of the band about their experiences. This is Daniel Miller, co-writer and guitarist on Magazine Street Beat, about to explain his experience of working with WeDM. Uh, it's been an experience unlike no other, really. Um, really hard taskmaster. Now I was in the studio from like 8 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night every day. I was like ready for the mental house afterwards, to be honest. She's, pretty, she's just a complete perfectionist. It all has to be done to the beat or else, you know, she's throwing stuff at you in the studio. There's abuse everywhere. It was, she's good at, she's good at what she does and she gets the results, but it just, it really took its toll on me by the end, you know, it's, you know, we got there, but man, it was, it was tough. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, she told me to say all that. She was a real pleasure to work with and, uh, always great ideas coming out and she knew exactly what she wanted and, uh, really, Really just a great person to know and get on with and be in the studio with and write with. We had a lot of fun with it and uh, it was never really any hard work apart from whenever I started slacking off but that was, uh, that was a rare occasion I'm sure. So yeah, lots of fun. You're in the experience of recording Magazine Street Beat. Um, it's, if I'm totally honest, it's, it's been a wee bit traumatic. And I was kind of bullied into doing it a wee bit. And uh, I had Donna Marie's kind of a, a hard taskmaster. She like shouts at you when, you when you hit flat notes. And she starts shouting things like, time is money. Which is really strange because we haven't paid for the studio. And she just says that's not the point. She starts shouting more at you and she's start saying obscenities about my mother. And uh, yeah, it's been a difficult experience if I'm honest with you. I'm not sure I'll ever go back into the studio after this. I was only joking about that last line. Uh, Don Marie told me to say that. Um, no, it's, it's actually it's been really good. Um, it's been just good fun watching my song come together. And uh, no, I think it's it's really well written by Don Marie. And uh, it's been a challenge to sing it. Uh, I'm not usually I don't usually sing um, hip hop music, so it's uh, it's been really good. Look, there's Glenn. This is unbelievable. He's went from my laptop to appearing on my first this single and been part of my band. This is Rossborough Music, featured vocalist on magazine Street Beat. My right, Glenn, what was your experience of working with WeDM? Um, I have to say, it was probably the most darkest um, studio time I've ever had. Um, she runs a tight ship, but uh, when I kept getting the text wrong, then she started bringing out a gun. Just running around mad in the studio, everyone was so scared and the door was locked and we didn't know what to do but finally once I got it right she let us all out and we all had a bit of counsel and after they come around. Do you think he's just in the Because the letter has gone out to you. So Glenn, what was it really like working with WeDM? Uh, it was great fun. Uh, DM puts a lot of effort on their music and especially the lyrics. And for me, it's uh, it's great always to be working on a song that means something to someone, and this one seemed to mean a lot. And there's a lot of effort on it. We DM has described you as one of her musical influences. How do you feel about this? It's uh, a bit of an honour to be anybody's influence on anything. Never mind something as special to me as music, so I know how special it is to DM. Um, but I think she should start listening to radio because I'm not that good compared to some people. <laughs> uh, it's understandable why I am DM's musical influence, uh, especially because I invented the chord C. 
and also G in A minor. Well, we're now at June 2013. I'm about to take part in my first live gig. I can't believe this is happening. See, dreams do come true if you fight for them hard enough. This is part of the Nerve Centre Showcase 2013. Well, since the gig, life has been pretty sweet. One Facebook page, one year, one Twitter page, and nearly 200 fans on Facebook. It seems like everyone's pointing to the Beatle Magazine Street. See our names on every field, ten feet tall.